are crippling not just families, but especially small businesses. Here in the Bethlehem region, you've been hit especially hard with unemployment rate over 9%. And as far as the president is concerned, we have not recovered. Things are not good until every single American who wants a job can get a job, and it's a good paying job. The president will not be satisfied until people have hope and optimism for the future. And that's why the president is working so hard to lay a foundation for long-term economic growth. If we want to keep America competitive, we need to develop new renewable sources of energy. We need health care insurance and insurance reform that provides more effective ways to deliver care. We need to provide security and stability for those who do have insurance. We need to provide insurance for the millions who do not. And we need to keep the cost of insurance under control, which is now bankrupting businesses, families, and governments, local, state, and the federal government. Government alone cannot solve the problems of America. But America's creative thinkers and innovators and entrepreneurs will lead the way to economic recovery. And what the President and what the Congress can do is set the overall framework, the principles, uh, and the ground rules by which that economic recovery by the private sector will occur. The reality is that so many of the old backbones of local economies just aren't where the future is. You know, President Obama is taking historic steps to lay the foundation for that innovation economy of the future uh, that Anish talked about. And as, as Anish indicated just earlier this week, the President laid out a strategy for American innovation that builds on more than $100 billion of Recovery Act funds to support innovation. But you know a lot about that, as the mayor indicated here in Bethlehem. This is the middle of what used to be the center of the Steel University of the steel universe in America. And in fact, just 300 yards from here uh, is the building that once housed the center of research and innovation for Bethlehem Steel. Well, today, Ben Franklin Tech Ventures is an award-winning facility that now stands as a leader in Pennsylvania, an emerging technology industry, providing space and expertise for tomorrow's leading businesses. Ben Franklin Technology Partners uh, focuses on developing new technology-oriented companies and helping established manufacturers apply this new technology to become stronger, more competitive, and more viable. All of this creates jobs. And as we've heard, thousands of good paying jobs. And all of this fosters a favorable business environment for high growth companies. You know, when we think about it, entrepreneurs, new companies, are responsible for virtually all of the new job growth in America. And indeed, entrepreneurs are responsible for virtually all of the net new jobs created in the last 25 years. Entrepreneurs, companies uh, younger than five years old, responsible for virtually all of the net new jobs in America in the last 25 years. And indeed, virtually half of all the jobs in America are from companies that, that came into being after 1980. After 1980. Well, the Recovery Act was really designed with initiatives like Ben Franklin in mind. And that's why we're pleased to announce that the Department of Commerce, through uh, uh, Mr. Fernandez's Economic Development Administration, is awarding a $6 million Recovery Act grant to help in the expansion of the Tech Ventures facility doubling the size of the current uh, building. 